To celebrate World War II veterans, the Collings Foundation has brought numerous historic bomber and fighter planes to, Worcester, to the Worcester Regional Airport. The nationwide tour allows people to get up close and personal with aircrafts used by the United States in World War II. Our Cam Jandro was there today and has the story. The Wings of Freedom Tour flies into Worcester. Nine historic and rare aircrafts are at the Worcester Regional Airport as part of the Collings Foundation's nationwide trip. They tour around the country as a traveling museum so people can come out, tour inside them, go for flights and understand better the history. On display this weekend will be the B-24 Liberator. Collings Foundation Executive Director Rob Collings says a total of 18,000 Liberators were manufactured. but. This is the only one in the world still capable of flying. They were used in every theater of the war, in the Pacific, in North Africa, in Europe, and they flew more missions and dropped more tons of bombs than any other American aircraft at that time. Also here is the B-25 Mitchell and the P-51 Mustang, both of which were common aircrafts in World War II. For younger generations, like members of Worcester's Civil Air Patrol, it's an experience seeing the planes in person. It was just breathtaking, really, yeah. seeing like what people in the military flew back then. Kind of like a weird thing to like see the planes that were flying back then, like now. In its 29th year, the Wings of Freedom Tour visits nearly 110 cities annually. Collings wants the tour to create more interest in World War II. We want people to learn about this history, to then have an interest and in, in study more about it and maybe talk to one of the veterans that might be here and get their, their story and thank them. Now these aircrafts will be here at Worcester Regional Airport through Sunday and visitors will have the chance to not only tour the airplanes, but some will have the chance to even fly in them. Reporting in Worcester, I'm Cam Jandro, Worcester News Tonight.